really interesting the idea of having a vineyard and uh, growing grapes and dad said well why don't you look into it and tell me about it so for the next year I did look at what it would take to grow grapes what would make sense for growing grapes here um, learned a lot more about what Prince Edward County climate was like and, and as an aside climate is practically useless <laughs> because the weather we've had since I planted the grapes doesn't even vaguely resemble the climate that Prince Edward County has. It uh, just has taken on a life of its own since then and the interesting thing is it now feels like it's something we've always done. My children know how to work in the vineyards. Uh, they've grown up around them. And uh, certainly every time my dad walks out and sees that Gamay Noir hanging at five tons in the field, you know he just loves it. Well, this farm is special. It, it's an original Loyalist patent. It was patented in 1805 to the Trumper family and essentially it's a terrific example of early Canadian architecture and uh, we were very lucky to have this barn and we wanted people to enjoy it as much as we had all these years. The barn was uh, a, a perfect focal point for what we were trying to develop thinking that what we wanted to do was remember where we came from and discover where we could go in terms of winemaking in Prince Edward County. In deciding the grapes to best grow on the property, I started by looking at the soils that we had. And the first thing that I discovered was Prince Edward County was a little bit unique in Ontario because it is um, underpinned by limestone, the same as Niagara, but the limestone here is calcium based and for the most part non-construction grade and that was very good news in terms of growing grapes because the drainage is good and it often leads to very gravelly soils. In fact, it's always been a joke that Hillier's first crop in the spring is rocks. <laughs> It's been a tradition on this farm for 200 years that before you plant or before you start to operate in the fields, you need to go through and pull the big rocks out. So when they built this barrel cellar a hundred years ago, they used the rocks from the hedgerow. And when we built uh, the fireplace upstairs, we did the same. Prince Edward County is Ontario's newest wine region and there are now 14. They vary as widely as the people who live here. The nice thing about wineries is they often express their owners and they have a lot of personality and the wines do the same thing so a wine tour is sort of like a wine adventure you can find so many different products and, and so many different perspectives on wine growing and wine making. And Prince Edward County is no different. It might be only 14, but there are 14 very different, unique, distinct opportunities to taste Ontario wine. And as a new wine region, it's certainly had its challenges. It, it, the infancy of anything is always pioneering, I guess, if you like, but it's also exciting. And this is a rare opportunity for people to come and experience uh, their own wine industry in its infancy. We are firm believers in consuming locally, and uh, we believe that uh, local wines for Ontario are a great product that Ontarians should explore and, and the variety and the, the possibilities are, are so numerous. I just can't believe that more Ontarians don't consume locally and, and buy VQA wine.
I decided to grow Gamay because uh, when I was living in France, I developed uh, a real love of the Cru Beaujolais, the, the peasant wines that were easily accessible and, and very pleasant to eat with a variety of foods that were quite casual. Later, we decided to experiment with Pinot Gris, which has turned out to be a very, very happy experiment. Uh, we also have Cab Franc planted and a significant planting of Riesling, which is terrifically interesting on this farm because here our Riesling has a lime finish. I've never tasted anything quite like it before. Pinot Noir here would certainly be a passion for us. Uh, experimentally, I managed to plant 17 acres of it and uh, was really quite satisfied with that. I thought it would give us a lot of information about what was good, what was great, what we wanted to pursue. And it wasn't until uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, a wine writer from out west uh, stopped by for a visit and he said, you have 17 acres planted. I said, well, yeah, but you know, we're just learning and we're experimenting. And he said, well, did you know that was one of the largest plantings in Canada? And I went, oh God, don't tell dad. <laughs> One of my favorite, favorite food pairings is our gamay uh, with turkey because I always get a lot of cranberries on the finish of the gamay and, and when that's paired with turkey, which I always find a little bit heavy, it, uh, it, it's a beautiful combination. Um, Dad at first was a little resistant, now he always wants gimme with turkey and it's part of our traditional Thanksgiving supper. Pinot Noir with lamb is one of, I think it's fairly common, but it's common for a reason, it's a beautiful pairing and Prince Edward County lamb is quite distinctive as are the Pinot Noirs that are growing here. We spend a lot of time uh, teaching our staff about grape growing and winemaking so that when people do come to visit, they have uh, a fun experience, but also an educational experience. And they have a chance to learn about the Grange and about Prince Edward County and about wine. So, but mostly when they leave, I'd like them to say, wow, Ontario wine is nice. I like it.